Let's review how to import contacts into Follow Up Boss. You're going to need a CSV file. It has to be specifically the CSV format. So whether you export from another system or your contacts, or if you create a file, be sure that it's saved as a CSV file. So once you have that file ready, um, you're going to go to Admin and Follow Up Boss, and then Import. And then there is a big blue button here. This video is a great overview as well. Um, there's a big blue button here to upload your CSV. So once you have that, you can grab that file. And after just a minute to upload and process that, it's basically going to walk you through this wizard of sorts where it's going to, it usually is pretty intuitive and will select the field for you to map it to. Um, but it, it still walks you through to be sure that's accurate. So this has already figured out that this is a name field based on the fact that I have a header called name. So you'll hit save there. It'll bump you to the next one. It's figured out this is an email address. So hit save. I had a phone number here. And in this particular case, this can be a message or um, background is sometimes a good place to import um, a field like that too because it's a little more prevalent in follow-up boss if this is information um, really specifically high level about that contact and so once you do that um, you'll hit save and continue there's a box here for show skipped columns so if you have some you want to skip which is an option if some of them just don't line up then you can do so um, you can check or uncheck this box if you want to be able to view those columns and then just hit save and continue it's going to bring you here to a page that's going to confirm which agent to apply these to, um, what stage they should be imported into, and also if you want to add a tag, which I highly recommend, it will add an automatic tag um, of import, and I believe the date that it was imported, but this is a great way to add kind of a global tag to this import both naming or identifying the import, and also if anything does go funny, um, you can always come back and do that. So we're just going to name this new import. We're going to create that tag here and then select that so it's going to add it to all the contacts. So then once I hit import, it'll work for a second. Um, if any of these are duplicates, it'll say so right here. These are obviously two new ones. Um, so now you can just click here and view these and you can see that they both have the import tag and then that new import tag that I created. They're in the lead stage uh, and of course they're assigned to me, the account that I'm logged into. So it's pretty straight ahead. Let us know if you have any questions, but uh, again, that video on the import page from Follow Up Boss is also very helpful.